Hey, you guys. Oh, it is Erica. I'm just making sure I'm on here, and I am so happy to be on with you. And I just realized my kitchen is a little dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet, so just ignore that. <laughs> Maybe if I turn it a little bit more this way. <laughs> anyway, so listen, I love this three-day juice clean program that I'm doing, and I love it so much. I put it in a little ebook for you so that you can just download it yourself and do it whenever you want to do it. I do it about once a month. And I just love the way it makes me feel. It kind of takes my body back to baseline. And what that allows me to do is really clear my mind. When I'm only giving my body what it needs, it just allows me to really clear my mind. And I feel like I just have more energy and I can think better. I'm a better mom. I'm a better you know, mentor. I'm a better everything. And that's, I want to be better so that I can help more people. So we all do this for different reasons. And I'm going to keep this video short because I know that you guys are busy. That's why you're probably watching this because I hear a lot of times, well, I'm just too busy to do a juice cleanse. You know, I just, I can't get everything prepped. I can't get everything done. And that's okay. I, first of all, I want to say that's okay because sometimes there are absolutely good reasons why we shouldn't do this. And I feel like starting something like this and committing to anything, even a juice cleanse, is just like committing to a relationship or committing to a new job. It has to be the right timing. But if you are busy and you want some tips on how to do this because you are gung-ho about doing this and feeling great and incorporating that mind-body balance, then listen up, all right? I wanna tell you some things. Um, first of all, it does require a juicer or a blender. So if you're on the road or you're traveling for an extended period of time and you don't have that, then just wait a little bit. Wait till it's a better time for you. But if you're just busy and you're looking for those tips on how to incorporate it, I've got four for you. You ready? You want a pen and paper? So first of all, the first two can be done um, whether you're busy or not. And the first one is to mentally prepare a day or two before. And I have to really talk to myself about this. I have to remind myself a couple days ahead of time, okay, no caffeine. I have to remind myself it's only three days. I have to remind myself why I'm doing this. So I have to internally pump myself up. And that's another reason why I like doing it with people. So I highly suggest that you do it with somebody else because they can better help you mentally prepare. And then when the time comes, they can help you better stay on track. And I can be that person for you. Or if you just have a buddy or a, a spouse or whatever that wants to do it with you, feel free to let them in on it. And the second one is to prepare your body. Now again, these first two are for anybody. Johnny, my dog eats paper, cardboard and paper and stuff, so I have to make sure he's not eating paper, is to prepare your body for this. And what I mean by that is let your body know that you're going to do something different so that when the day comes, Especially you busy people, you're not, your body is not in like full shock, like what the hell are you doing to me? Oh my gosh, and you feel awful. So how I suggest going about that is starting to wean off of proteins three to five days before you actually start the cleanse, all right? So maybe take out meat proteins and then take out, and I meant, I meant, uh, did I say animal proteins? That's what I meant. And then start to take out dairy and then start to take out eggs and just um, work it that way until the day of. And another tip I want to give you for your preparing your body is think about intermittent fasting for a couple days. Now here's why I feel like it's particularly important for busy people. Because intermittent fasting is giving your time more body to your body more time to rest and recover. And that's important, all right? That's really important because that's kind of what the detox is about. I mean, it is about taking your body to baseline and letting your body just reset almost. And when you intermittent fast, you're not going to eat between the hours of 6.30 or 7 p.m. to 10.30 or 11 a.m. Some people do it for longer periods of time. It's up to you. But if you start to do that two days ahead of time, what I feel works for me, and I know this works for a lot of other people that have tried this approach before they go into the the um, cleanse is you're not as hungry the day you start because your body is still kind of on rest mode. You've already prepped it for this and it's on rest mode. So if you wake up early in the morning, you're scurrying to get the kids ready, you are, you know, rushing out the door to get to work, 
You don't have to worry about getting your juice and drinking it immediately. Or your kids go down for a nap later, or you've got some commitment in the morning that you can't get, you know, you can't make a juice at. That's gonna allow you to not worry about even eating in the morning. Let your body continue to rest, all right? Let your body continue to rest. Your stomach uses a lot of energy when it digests food. So just let it rest. Um, so those two tips are for anybody, but particularly kind of grooving it in there to how this can help you if you're super busy and you've got stuff going on in the morning time. So a couple other tips. It may seem like kind of a no-brainer to you guys or not. It's just something to think about ahead of time is to actually prep and wash your veggies the day before. No more than a day before because then they start to kind of get old. We want to use as fresh veggies as possible and um, dry them really well and keep them in the fridge. And then that morning when you wake up, you're getting the kids ready and you just zoom, whip up your juice real quick and you're out the door, all right? And if you've got one of those juicers, I would say if you don't have time to clean it in the morning, then don't worry about cleaning it, but the little disc, if you have the same juicer that I have, there's a little circulating disc in there, go ahead and get that soaking, all right? Because you don't want that thing to get all plugged up. The last thing, I know, I know you're, you're in a rush, I promise, I'm almost done, but this is really, really important. Go ahead and make your juice one day in advance, but no more than one day in advance. It's best to make your juice right when you're gonna drink it, but that's ideal, but how ideal is that for you and your lifestyle, right? I mean, you've got places to go, people that depend on you. It's okay to make it up to 24 hours in advance. Just keep it in the refrigerator. Does that sound good? All right, you guys. So I am so excited to be doing this with you. Now, you don't have to do this program with me. You can do it on your own. It's completely up to you, but it is accessible to you. The link is up there in the notes. Um, or down below in the notes, depending on where you're watching this. And um, last thing, I wanted to tell you this earlier when I was talking about mental prep. I actually have a step-by-step -step mental prep that I have given to you, and it's in the very first email that comes along with the download of the three-day juice cleanse. And so you'll have to check that out to get that step-by-step -step mental prep, because if you can get this right, then the cleanse will be much easier easier for you. Lots of other tips and tricks coming your way. I have a tonic that I'm making in the morning time around 9 30, 10 o'clock that I want to show you how to make as well. And I'm going to do that live tomorrow morning. So um, catch me on that. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. And um, I hope this inspires you. I hope this like, lets you in on that you can do this. You can absolutely do this. And maybe if you're busy, it's going to take a little more work than somebody that's kind of got a more casual lifestyle. But it's absolutely possible. And let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Bye. <laughs>